I mean, it's amazing that we've been able to figure out at all uh, the history of the expansion of the universe. Yeah. It's bizarre even to think about the universe uh, as a whole because as soon as you think about anything that could be infinite, your mind is boggled. And uh, it becomes even more boggling when you talk about something that's infinite getting bigger, expanding. So I have to try to explain that you have to imagine something that's infinite, goes on forever, galaxy after galaxy after galaxy, and the only thing that's typical about it, as you see galaxies in all directions, you're in the sea of galaxies, is that there's an average distance between the galaxies. And uh, when we say the universe is expanding, they're still all the same galaxies, it's still just as infinite, it's just that now all the dis distances are a little bit bigger. And so there's more space between every one of these infinite sea of galaxies. We've been using a technique, um, and now we've come back to it to improve it, that takes exploding stars as a distance beacon, as a standard candle, if you will, so that the further away they are, the fainter they look, and that's how we tell how far they are, by how faint they appear. Each one of them then also tells us uh, about this moment of history um, that you can tell how far back it is in time because you know how long it takes light to reach you from that distance. And that moment in history, what we want to know is how much has the universe stretched since that time. And it turns out that we can use the colors of, the, of these very same exploding stars, the supernova, as a direct way to measure how much the universe is stretched. Since we have no idea what um, is causing this acceleration, we have a placeholder terminology. We call it dark energy. And the dark just refers to our ignorance, not to the color of, the, of this energy. Um, but what it means is that um, you can explain an acceleration if you can find a, a, uh, an energy source that would actually uh, cause the acceleration. And right now, um, there are a wide variety of theories that could uh, give you that kind of energy spread throughout all of space. And that all of empty space then would be filled with this, um, this energy that can actually make space itself expand. And right now, of course, we're, uh, we're still uh, completely baffled by what it is and, we're, and that we're trying to develop these techniques to corner it and to sort of figure out what the properties could be that you could tell apart if you were considering these different theories. Right now, one of the biggest mysteries that we still have um, left is why can we not get a single story that will make sense both for how gravity works and how all the other forces of uh, you know, the electromagnetic, weak and strong forces that, um, are, you know, that we understand through all the interactions of fundamental particles. And those two stories right now um, you know, have to work together. We know because the universe does it. And the question is, how, how can we come up with a, a theory that holds them all at one time? The biggest thrill would be if we were able to get a clue as to what the dark energy is, and if that ended up being the, the route to solving the problem of combining gravity and the other three forces. That would just be amazing.